Arkansas, in a place where legends have long stood for excellence. Names like Broyles, Holtz, McFadden, Jones, and Johnson. And when they call the Hogs, it is a rite of passage. We're really looking forward to this matchup. We've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see, the number 15 team in the country, the Tennessee Volunteers, taking on another SEC rival, the Arkansas Razorbacks. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Razorbacks will put total leather to crank us up. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Volunteers' offense will take the first swing of the game. And here he is. Let me tell you about this wide receiver. He is a route-running DB toasting Pass, catching, touchdown, scoring. Woo! Son of a gun. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this defense is going to try and corral this guy because you play man-to-man, -man, you risk him running right by you and catching the deep ball, but you play zone and you give him the opportunity to potentially make yards after the catch. You're going to have to be really careful trying to cover that dude. And the Volunteers are in the hurry-up. Back to pass, it's Iamaleava. Pulls it in. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. That's a pretty impressive throw, man. That's given me Peyton Manning to Peerless Price memories back when I was watching them, playing against them in college. That was a thing of beauty right there. There's a nice chemistry that this quarterback has with this group of wide receivers, and you see that in the timing of these throws. The handoff as they run the counterplay here. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Keep it on the ground. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy. But those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. They'll run the option. Now the toss. And they just didn't get anybody on that defense out of position, and they will lose yardage on that one. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive, if he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. He's able to pick his way for just a bit, but he'll be stopped at the 18. Good job by the punt team. The Razorbacks' offense will try to get something started with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Scanning the field, it's green. Safe completion on the screen. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, it's still short of the first down. There's a lot of different ways this offense can attack you throwing the ball. One of them is getting the running back going, and the screen is a great way to get him lathered up and get the defense starting to think about him a little bit more now. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. They'll try to run for it. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth.
the Razorbacks will punt this one away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. The volunteer offense is back and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. He'll pull it on the read. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. Coming out on first down with the play fake. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He'll keep it himself. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Yeah, and that's the hard thing about these cuties that can move and run all over the place and give you so many options is that that didn't even look like much, but he chews up so much yardage and gets those little gains that just death by a thousand cuts that continue to happen with this offense. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. Putting together a real scoring threat here as they pick up the first down at the 36. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that long play. Looking to throw a Tiamaleava. They're working that left side. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. You'll take that completion. The Volunteers headed quickly to the line. The give on the inside. And the balls will move the sticks with the first down. Tennessee loves relying on the big physical backs like a Jamal Lewis, and this guy fits the mold. Yeah, guys you just didn't want to tackle. I mean, guys that run angry all the time, and it's just, it's a mindset. When, when Tennessee has that mindset, the fans go crazy, and their teams are usually their best squads. It's complete to the left. And there's going to be a loss on that play. Just run out of bounds and avoiding the contact. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They make the stop, give him three yards on the carry. Ball's at the 24. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Ball's at the 24. A lot of confidence in their kicker from here, but they'd love to take it off of his foot and convert the first down. From the gun, wants to pass. He's going to take off. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. The Vols with the first and ten. On the move. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Well, they try to go quarterback design run on that play, but the defense just not buying it. Nice job, everybody playing downhill and making a tackle close at the line of scrimmage. Operating in the red zone here on second down.
Leaves it with the running back. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. I think he run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table. Everything's available. High success rate. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. To the air, it's Iamaleava. They're trying to get to it. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. And I love playing man coverage on the back end. Getting those receivers' faces. Don't let them feel comfortable and, and run zone where they can find all these holes in the zone and my rush can't get home. Pressure them, pressure them, pressure them. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. And the holder will spot it on the 14 for a 24-yard attempt. It's good. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. That's the end of the quarter, and Tennessee has the lead. We've put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. Back to pass. It's Green. Dumps it to the back. Never great stride. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Remember some of the years when the Hogs spent a lot of time in the Wildcat just running it? You don't have to do that with this guy quarterback. And it just makes you less predictable, right? You've got a running back in there. You know you're not going to throw it very much, but when they do have the ability to push the ball down the field and get some guys out of the box, it makes this offense even more exciting. On the move, it's Jackson. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. you got to have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm going to start, and I'm going to stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. Then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. But great job in the base defense making a play. He's going to pass on second down. Caught in the backfield, it's Haas. And that is a nifty bit of navigation to get through that traffic and get the first down. That's a really nice looking throw, and I'll tell you, he fits in great with this offense because there's been this philosophical shift recently in the SEC offensively. It used to be you had to run the football. I formation, three yards in a cloud of dust if you wanted to win, but today, though, you have got to be able to throw if you're going to win. You think about all the great offensive play callers now in the SEC, all the Heisman Trophy winners that have played recently at the QB position. you got to do it through the air, and this guy in Arkansas gives them a chance. Now, that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Right back to the well. Moves it forward just a bit. A pickup of one to the 35. Man, 
and sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Now facing a third and long. Looking for a man, it's Green. Got his man to the left. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. I love that from this offense. Three is good. You're in field goal range, but now we're set up with first and goal because of great third down execution by this offense. Stay aggressive. Even when you get in this part of the field when everything shrinks and gets a little bit harder, you still want to be aggressive. Running back goes in motion. They'll use the running game on first and goal. Pushes ahead for two to the seven-yard line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. Knocked down after a gain of one. They'll mark it at the six. Unsuccessful second down, and now I'm immediately thinking, I got a little bit more than I want, so what are my pass plays? What am I going to get into here offensively to try to have success on third down? Play number 10 on this drive in his third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. He makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Razorback. I'm going to spread you sideline to sideline with all my speed, make you cover the whole field. Nice job by the offense. Go with a little spread look, taking advantage of the speed they had on the field and getting the big touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. That's a really good job by the defense. Wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. And the Volunteers racing to the line in the hurry-up. Dropping back, it's Iam Aleava. Looking down the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. Love that throw there. And I remember as a Gator playing against Tennessee, you knew as a quarterback you were going to have to bring your A game to the park because of who was on the other sideline. I played against Peyton Manning, and I played against T. Martin, who won a national championship there. They have a legacy at that position. And this guy for Tennessee, he has a chance to be the next great one. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block that. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. He's looking to throw. Finds his man. It's White. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a win. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They want to throw it. And they fail to hook up on third down. Really nice job by the defense. The offense has the whole playbook open to him on third and short. 
and try to slip in the screen. Did not fool the defense at all. Nice stop by the defense. The Volunteers will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Solid punt headed toward the sideline, trying to make it tough to return. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. Now on second down. From the gun, running back gets to give. Pushes ahead for a couple, they'll mark it at the 33. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job on the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking downfield, it's Green. They're bringing heat. It's complete! And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. And the Razorbacks will snap it on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Got a man. It's hot. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Armstrong. And they do a really good job. Not as easy as it looks to get those blocks. And he picks up the first down. All right. Second quarter, getting closer to the half. Offense is still having a lot of success, stringing some first downs together. Defense is going to need to figure something out before they get to halftime. From the 17-yard line, threatening to score on first and 10. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. There is little that warms the heart of a defender like a strip sack. Even better if you get the ball. And I like the awareness of this defender on the play because he knew he might not actually get to the quarterback and make the hit, but he was able to still swat away, use those long arms to create the turnover. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David, only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. The passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. And you know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups. Going to take a shot. Grabs it inside the 15. Slippery slide, find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, balls! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. On the run from inside his own five. 
Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Bought a little time, lets it go. That's caught. It's Sategna. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Sategna. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Well, they're working the slot receiver on a drag route here. He's just kind of fighting his way through the traffic. He's able to come out the other side and present a nice target for the quarterback. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. I don't hate the play call there on third and short either because you try to catch them off guard. Third and short on your own side of the 50. It's not there. Throw it away. Now, if you want to go for it now and run it, now's the time to do it on fourth down. The Razorbacks will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. In modern college football, Jesse, if there's time, there's an opportunity to attack. And I like... He's got it down the right side. And he breaks into the open. Touchdown, Tennessee! And once he got loose, it was all over. Quick strike touchdown comes out and jump starts the offense. And man, we see this in college football. So much explosiveness and firepower. And we get high scoring game after high scoring game. And it looks like we're on pace for one of those right now. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. So see, quarterback, one snap, put it in the end zone. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. Here's the return from inside his 10. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Offense getting set for first down. Using his legs, it's Jackson. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Fayetteville. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And with that, let's hear another hog call and send it back to the guys in Razorback Stadium. And the Vols will kick it off to start the second half. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. Trailing by a couple of scores, they'd like to generate some confidence here early in the third quarter. Down. Got a lot of running room. And the explosiveness, the big gainer gets it to the 49-yard line. How nice is it as a quarterback if you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. And the Razorbacks in the hurry up. They'll go to the ground. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. 
I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. To the air, it's green. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Looking for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Arkansas. And that's what I love about empty sets and formations on offense, is that when you spread the defense out, you create bigger lanes to throw into. You saw it right there. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they close it to a 17-14 game. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish with a big play, a touchdown strike from the 46. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. Working on the right, and he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. Man, we're seeing the tight end used more and more in the passing game. You, you see him moving inside. You see him moving outside. You see him moving in the box to block people. So here they put him in the slot and just have a nice little pitch and catch session. That's a way to give yourself some breathing room. Now the second play of the drive from the 36. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Heaves it deep. Wide open, he makes the catch. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, Volunteers! That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money. He's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. To throw, it's green. He makes the connection. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops, Palmer, and get you the football back. And I think, I think here, too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. On the option. 
Now the pitch. Perfectly timed on that pitch, and they pick up the first down on the play. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it. Get the first down. Don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. The Razorbacks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Snagged in the middle. It's a Tegna. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. And that RPO play was run to perfection. The run fake forced and sucked the defense up and a nice job on the route by the receiver, not telegraphing that he was breaking to the inside on the slant. Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. Free snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. On the run, still looking. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. They tried to go play action, but that did not affect the defensive tackle. He was bull rushing his guy, collapsing the pocket, and he comes away with a sack. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Got his man downfield. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. To the air on first down. Deep shot for the end zone. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. Man, you've given up this drive and come down the field, and you had such an opportunity to get the pick and close the door and shut down the drive and not give up points. That's a big missed opportunity for this defense. Second and ten here. Looking to throw, it's green. Steps away to find some room. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. They run into a bit of trouble here. Third and long from the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. Caught near the sticks. It's Sategna. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. And that is a huge conversion on third and long for the offense. I think a lot of people thinking, hey, we're just going to try to get a couple of yards, help our kicker out here to kick a field goal. But instead, they get a massive play. And now all of a sudden, they're thinking touchdown here, first and goal. Moves away as he feels pressure. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Razorbacks! Oh, the offense shows some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And, man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down, but this is a great start to get back in this ball game. Getting set for the point after. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. 
And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. That's what this defense has to do, guys. They've got to knock this quarterback down to the ground. He's already thrown a couple of TDs. The only way you're going to stop that is with good quarterback pressure. That last incompletion leaves them with second and 10 from the 21. They'll leave it with him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Yeah, I think the running back kind of went rogue on that last running play. I'm not sure it was designed to go that direction. He tried to make it happen on his own and unfortunately ended up losing yards. The Vols moving quickly to the line. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. Offense took a little bit too much time at the line there. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. Complete downfield. They'll keep this drive moving by picking up the first down. They have it at the 36. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good. So efficient. Such a good route runner. Got the speed. Got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him. And especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him. He'll make those contested catches. Caught in the backfield. It's McCoy. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yardage situations. After that last completion, it's second down. the RPO complete. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. The thing I like about this slot receiver, he's really intentional in his route running. The quarterback always knows exactly where he's going to be on the field. They've got great chemistry today. And the Volunteers are on the move. Leaves it with the back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. They'll try to snap it quickly. To the air. It's Iamaleava. Gets it out quickly. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Again, this is a running back that can hurt you running it between the tackles, and he's dangerous out in space. They like to throw it to him out on the perimeter as he picks up a couple of yards there. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Pocket starts to collapse. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. The Volunteers line up to punt it away. No opportunity to run it back as the ball goes out of bounds. These two quarterbacks have produced as we check out their numbers after three. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Using his feet to buy time. 
Short gain on the play before he slides. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. Offense gets set for second down. To the ground with the back. To the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Off the play fake on first down. Connection to the right. And he's brought down after a nice game. This quarterback obviously did a lot of film prep coming into this one. He has been picking this defense apart. With that last completion, guys, he's now got over 300 yards passing. And the Razorbacks have it with a first and 10. Quarterback on the keeper. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? It doesn't matter what run play you have called, if you're running it inside or outside. If the defense gets penetration, everything is done. And you saw it on that play right there. Great job by the dude. Line getting set on second down. Dropping back, it's Green. Makes the grab down the middle. And they get to him and knock him down to prevent a bigger gain. And I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. To the ground to try to move the chains. They are on the move as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 28. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. Now on the move at the 28-yard line on first down. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Trying to get to it. Feeling the heat as he lets it go. Touchdown, Arkansas! And they've moved out front here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space in the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Makes a move. Got a little room. And there he goes. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, balls. He is a field-flipping machine. Take it on one end, return it to the other. And now you get to celebrate. What a beautiful job. We always talk about defense. We always talk about offense. But, man, when your special teams come through for you and score, it is huge, and it provides such a boost for the crowd. Needs this one to push the lead to a field goal. And he knocks it through, and the lead is a field goal here in the fourth quarter. Can't do it much better than that. Get the kickoff return, take it 98 to the house, and put a touchdown on the board. They're lining up to kick it off full of momentum after housing that last kickoff. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? 
Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. This is a game of swings and momentum and a great opportunity here after scoring on the last drive, getting a stop, and now you have the football back. They're playing well right now in all three phases, and they're complementing each other. So now, David, it's up to the offense here. It's up to this quarterback to lead this offense down the field to get a score. Yeah, and to stay aggressive, to, to understand we've had success. We got this going the right way. Now I don't need to change anything. Go back to your go-to plays. That's now got you some momentum back. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. Didn't make it any easier on themselves on first down. Now second and long from the 21. Looking to throw. It's green. The quick out. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. They'll try to pop the draw. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. The Razorbacks decide to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. The give to the tailback. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Late in football games, I have a plan. I'm going to run the football. I want to put my quarterback in great situations if I do throw it. Low risk. Keep that clock moving. Get a few first downs. And if I get a few first downs with that clock moving, I get the W and get out of here. Hand off from the gun. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And the Vols want to move quickly. To the air, it's Iamaleava. Just a short pass to the tight end. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. Well, this defense has given up some big plays in this game so far, but they've got a lot of talent on that side of the football. Someone has to step up here, make a play, get a stop, and put their team in a position to win. The Vols have it with a first and 10. Used to play fake, now to throw. Looking to the big tight end. He's got it. And another big game for this offense. They are putting explosive pass after explosive pass up in this one. This is so interesting right now, watching this offense stay aggressive. They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and you're thinking at home, we got to just run the ball and try to bleed the clock. They found something on defense they're taking advantage of. Two straight completions. I won't be surprised if they throw it again. Makes the grab. It's Samson. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are. And they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the neutral zone too soon.
The encroachment penalty on the D gives the offense a free five yards. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. Knocked off his feet, but not before he picks up six yards down to the 10. And that's really nice offensively because you're in the red zone. You do have an opportunity to add to your lead here, but you're staying in bounds. I think the clock right now is the most important thing. How can we keep this thing ticking away? By going down in bounds, you're doing exactly that. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. On second down, let's see if they go right back to the run and put this game on ice. Looking for space, it's Sampson. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Looking for a man. It's Iamaleava. He's got it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. And, you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. That drive covered 55 yards for the score. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. Just about set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Finds his man. It's Armstrong. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. Yeah, and you're just running at a time where you can have these small gains where the clock continues to run. This offense definitely got to have some urgency down late in the game. I need to force some plays, Palmer, probably down the field. And if you're the defense, you can have that all day. We're going to play big zones. We're going to keep the ball in front of us. We've got the lead. You're going to have to make catches like that and make us miss. But you want to keep throwing those little dink and dunk throws? Have at it, because if you keep doing that, we're going to win the game. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. We gotta give the old line a lot of credit there because he gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. They'll throw it on first down. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Looking to pass. It's Green. Shoots it to the left. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. All right, that's a good result for the defense. We knew coming into this year they wanted to really improve their pass defense and their secondary and coverage. Nice job there. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Got his man quickly. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. And listen, everything's four down territory at this point when you're trailing by this much late in the game. So it's okay you didn't get the first down there, but now the pressure's on to convert this. Otherwise, it's ball game. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Pressure coming. And they get to him and sack the quarterback, and they'll stop the drive on downs. After being stopped there on fourth down, this game's pretty much over. They were going to have to go down in a two-minute situation, put at least seven up on the board. They couldn't get it done. 
Things just haven't gone their way. It's been that type of day today. They're going to leave the stadium with a loss. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. And now when you have a solid lead like this, Jesse, you find out, can you deliver the knockout punch? And we're expecting them to come out here and just run the football, bleed the clock, let the big uglies up front, get some push, and ball security, David. That's a premium. Yes, take care of the football. Don't make any dumb mistakes. Be physical. And listen, if they want to load the box, don't be afraid to take a shot. 